So I'm Jeremy. I play bass in After Memphis. I'm Jason. I'm the guitarist for After Memphis. Our singer is named Monet. We have two backup vocalists, Tim and Shermo. And then our drummer is Yari. And we are After Memphis out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yes, we are. How would you describe the After Memphis sound? It's a unique experience, you know, it's something we went in like creating just music that made us feel good and want to dance, you know, and groove and go back to a little heritage of, you know, the artists of past. So we're like, how do we kind of put a modern take on, it? you know, something that makes you feel good, makes you want to dance and just have a good time. And so that's how I would describe After Memphis kind of style of music, just a little bit of good old school funk. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little bit of everything in it, I think. Just growing up, all the different music we listen to and then you get older and you listen to different styles and we've both played a lot of different styles. This sort of was born out of an idea we never thought would actually happen. <laughs> it was kind of just, hey, we should try this. And it actually, we were put in an opportunity where we could and it just kind of grew from there. It took a little while to get the sound and, and when we found it, we just kept going with it because it was like a dream come true, you know. You start hearing a little bit of your childhood or you know things your parents listen to or your friends listen to incorporated with, like you said, the modern styles, and it just kind of felt right. And how did you all meet? We've known each other for probably about six years now. We used to work in the same store together at different times, and we just kind of started jamming on there. And then we went through a few different changes throughout the years. You know, we were in uh, the rock era, so we had a rock singer for a little bit, and then took some time off of that. That didn't go as well, and then so came back and tried it again, and we tried our vision from old when we first started again together. It's like, let's go back to that. Let's just make music for us and for the fun of it, rather than for a label or anybody else. And we luckily got the opportunity to meet Mo through a showcase event with a bunch of different artists. And just kind of clicked. We're like, oh my God, we just had an idea moment. We're like, she would fit perfect for the idea we saw we had. So let's give it a try. And it's just kind of spiraled up from there. <laughs> yeah, the idea of what After Memphis has become was something we talked about for a long time, but we really didn't think it would be a reality. We've always been involved in music our whole lives, but the music we play now is not something we were used to. He came from a rock background. I came from a heavy rock, punk background at times in my career, and it was kind of fun and refreshing to do things you'd never done before, but it was also probably the scariest project. At first, people were really drawn to it. We were actually getting shows before we had songs. It was. We played our first show, it was like, hey, can you go up and play a song with this artist? And, and we did, and we got booked again, and we were so wrapped up in the excitement. We looked at each other and said, uh, I guess we gotta write some songs. And it really has just been a really wild ride and quick, and people seem to be receiving it well, so I can't complain. So what's the songwriting process like for the group? Does someone come in with like an idea for a song and then everyone kinda adds their own parts to it or? Sometimes, yes, generally there's an idea somewhere, but we don't talk about it. Generally when we get to rehearsal, someone plays their idea and we just jam on it. We warm up on it. And I'd say 98% of our songs just came from jamming on one simple riff that turned into a 20 to 30 minute jam out at rehearsal. And when you feel everybody's energy, it's like, oh, should that be a song? We're just fortunate to be jamming with people that can do that. Monet can write lyrics like on the spot. The backup vocalists work with her so well that they're already singing. Sometimes I'm like, did I miss something? Is it a song? Or by the end of the, you know, 30, 40 minutes, we, we have a song. And if it's something we're really interested in and we think it fits, then Yari, our drummer, and Jeremy are very good about taking those loose ends and piecing it into something. A lot of people, you know, will come in, oh, this is how we play the song, this is how you play your part, this is how you play your part. We try not to do that, and you know, because we, we let the, uh, the person that's playing that part kind of figure out their own path. Because that's how you create something organically that you connect with, because if you can connect with it, there's more emotion in it. That's why even for, like, the lyrics, like, I don't write Mo's lyrics because they have to come from her, from it's her, her experience. her story, and she's so good at it, you know, I mean, and we feed off that passion that each other plays, so it's never about a one individual. It truly is a, a family band experience. It's, it's a lot of fun. It takes a lot of pressure off. <laughs> So what's the live experience like for you guys performing? Oh, for me, there's nothing else like it. No, there's you know, nothing like it. You know, there's a different connection. When you're, somebody you're watching or you're talking to an audience, you might be lucky if you get 75% of the audience's attention, like truly interacting and even less if they're fully engaged. We're here with like music when you're playing live. You get to experience it with like, luckily for us, five other people for me. 
You know, we all get to go to this one special place, and then majority of the time, bring the entire room with you. You know, they might not be like, oh, I don't, I'm not a fan of these guys, or I don't like that guitar, or I don't like this. But then th 30 seconds in, they're like, oh, wow, this is cool. The live show for us is always about each other. Once we start playing together, there's just a certain feeling in any room, whether there's a two people, just uh, even our practice space, the energy is, it's hard to explain. You know, when you have natural chemistry with people, it's like a marriage. You have this natural chemistry where we don't tell each other what to play, it just happens. And then part of the success of the band is getting the people that kind of understand that rhythm and come into that natural vibe. And then when you get in front of people and do it and you feel their energy, and we just go to a place and have fun and we play that last song, that last note, and you look out and you hope that someone in the room has reached that place with us, that they went to the same place we did. It's just a beautiful feeling.